Hi everyone, I'm Johannes and today I'd like to talk about RowModel. RowModel is our new open source Python package for modeling robust optimization problems. RowModel is based on Pyomo and extends the functionalities of Pyomo for modeling robust optimization problems. This work is joint work with my supervisor, Ruth Meissner. Consider a generic robust optimization problem. This problem has a potentially uncertain objective F and at least one uncertain constraint G. X is the vector of decision variables and Y are adjustable variables which are decided after at least some of the uncertainty is revealed. Xi is the vector of uncertain parameters which is bounded by the uncertainty set U which may also depend on some of the decision variables. There are two types of approaches for solving this kind of problem. Robust reformulation approaches are based on duality and they reformulate the robust semi-infinite problem into a deterministic counterpart which can be solved with off-the-shelf solvers. The cutting plane approach is an alternative iterative approach in which the uncertainty set is replaced by a small finite number of uncertainty scenarios and in each iteration the problem is solved and a new uncertainty scenario is added to the list until a robustly feasible solution is found. There already exist a number of tools for modeling and solving robust optimization problems. These tools generally fall into two categories. The first category are tools that are primarily designed for solving robust optimization problems. This group includes Roam and RZOM, which are based on MATLAB, but also Pyros, a new Python and Pyomo based solver, which utilizes ge a generalized cutting set approach for solving nonlinear robust optimization problems, and also ROC++, a C++ based robust optimization solver. The second category focuses more on modeling robust optimization problems. This category includes Jumper, which is an extension to Jump, the modeling language within Julia, but also AIMS, which has some capabilities for modeling and solving robust optimization problems. Row model falls into this category. Row model is largely focused on modeling robust optimization problems. It is tightly integrated with Pyomo and allows modeling of robust optimization problems in a way that is very intuitive and close to the mathematical formulation. Row model is also open source, it is extensible, and it allows modeling arbitrary convex uncertainty sets using nothing but Pyomo constraints. In order to achieve this, Row model introduces three new modeling components which can be used in combination with Pyomo's modeling components. The first one is ANSPARAM. ANSPARAM is similar to Pyomo's VAR and PARAM components and it is used to model uncertain parameters, the key ingredient of every robust optimization problem. The second component is ANSSET. ANSSET is based on Pyomo's block component and is used to model uncertainty sets. Finally, adjustable var works in a very similar way to Payomo's var component, but is used to model weight and C variables, adjustable variables that are decided after some of the uncertainty has been revealed. In combination, these three components are sufficient for modeling a large number of robust optimization problems. They can be used like any Pyomo modeling component and are used in combination with Pyomo's other components. Let's take a closer look at how row model models uncertain parameters. As you can see in this example, uncertain parameters are defined in analogy to Pyomo's variables or parameters. This component has three arguments. The first one is an optional index. By providing an index, a vector of uncertain parameters can be constructed. The second argument is an argument which specifies 
the nominal values for the uncertain parameters as a list. The third argument specifies an uncertainty set that is used for these uncertain parameters. Uncertainty sets can be constructed in one of two ways. The first way is to use generic uncertainty sets. Generic uncertainty sets are essentially Pyomo blocks to which users can add Pyomo constraints. The Pyomo constraints describe the geometry of the uncertainty set. This way of defining uncertainty sets is very flexible and allows the definition of arbitrary convex uncertainty sets. The second way is to use a library set. Library sets are predefined components which can be used to model common uncertainty set geometries by supplying data matrices. This example shows a polyhedral set which is defined by a matrix and a right-hand side vector. By using these uncertain parameters and uncertainty sets in Pyomo constraints, users can define uncertain constraints. Consider this deterministic constraint on a Pyomo model. The parameters C are known and the decision variables X are to be determined. Transitioning from this deterministic constraint to a robust constraint simply requires adding an uncertain parameter object and a corresponding uncertainty set object to the model and then using the uncertain parameter instead of the fixed value within the Pyomo constraint. Robust problems may also contain adjustable variables. These decision variables are determined after at least some of the uncertainty has been revealed. The adjustable var component in row model works in the same way as the regular var component in Pyomo, but it has an additional argument which defines a list of uncertain parameters which are revealed before this decision is made. This list of uncertain parameters can also be set individually for each index of the adjustable variable. This allows the definition of multi-stage adjustable robust problems. Row model currently only implements linear decision rules as a way of solving adjustable problems. Once the robust problem is modeled, row model contains three solvers that can be used to solve the problem. The first two solvers are based on the robust reformulation and cutting plane approaches for solving robust problems. The reformulation based solver starts by trying to identify uncertain constraints in the model. Once it has found an uncertain constraint, it iterates through a list of possible geometries for the uncertainty set and constraint. And if it finds a matching geometry, applies a model transformation that eliminates the uncertain constraint and replaces it by its robust counterpart. This process is repeated until all of the uncertain constraints have been eliminated. The resulting deterministic counterpart is then solved using one of Pyomo's solver interfaces. Row model currently includes transformation for polyhedral and ellipsoidal sets, as well as two Gaussian process-based sets. I will discuss these sets as well as the ways in which row model can be extended to other transformations in a little bit more detail later. The cutting plane based solver first replaces each uncertain constraint by a cut generator object. It then iteratively solves a master problem and a number of separation problems to determine whether the obtained solution is robustly feasible. If the solution is not robustly feasible, it adds a cut for every constraint that is still violated. The solver exits once a solution has been found that is robustly feasible for all constraints. The third solver is added for convenience. It allows solving the nominal problem with the robust formulation. This solver simply replaces each uncertain parameter by its nominal value and solves the resulting deterministic problem. 
The advantage of this solver is that users only need one implementation of their model and can still solve both the robust as well as the nominal problem. For each of these options, any of the deterministic solvers available within Payomo can be used as subsolvers, and a problem using raw model can be solved in exactly the same way as any other Payomo problem. Raw model is open source and easily extensible in two main ways. The uncertainty set library can be extended to include new geometries and new reformulations that are used within the reformulation based solver can be added. I will show you how this is done using the example of Gaussian process based uncertainty sets, which we have developed for optimization problems containing uncertain black box constraints. Adding new library uncertainty sets to row model largely requires one Python class that collects the corresponding data. This example shows the ellipsoidal set within row model, which simply collects a mean vector and a covariance matrix. In order to make this set work with the cutting plane solver implemented in row model, an additional function is needed, which generates Payomo constraints based on the provided data. For the ellipsoidal set, this function returns a Payomo block with a single ellipsoidal constraint on it. In order to make the new set work with the reformulation solver, we need to add an additional transformation to row model. This can be done by implementing another Python function which takes the uncertain constraint or objective, the corresponding uncertain parameter, and uh, the corresponding uncertainty set as arguments. From this, this function has to create a Payomo block with the deterministic counterpart of the robust constraint on it. A final function which checks whether a reformulation is applicable to an uncertainty set geometry and constraint can be used to also make the new reformulation compatible with generic uncertainty sets. This function checks the geometry of the uncertainty set and returns true if the reformulation is applicable to this type of geometry. Using this approach, we have implemented two types of Gaussian process based uncertainty sets. These sets are decision dependent uncertainty sets, which can be used to mitigate uncertainty in black box constraints that are modeled by Gaussian process surrogates. This example shows how raw model is able to combine the data analytics and machine learning capabilities of Python with the optimization modeling and solving capabilities of Payomo. Users can use the Python library GPy to train a Gaussian process surrogate model based on uncertain data, and then subsequently use the library uncertainty sets within raw model to construct uncertainty sets immediately from the GPy object. This particular library set takes three arguments. The first argument is the GPy object. The second argument is an indexed Payomo variable. This is the input to the black box function. And the third argument is a confidence parameter. This signifies the probability with which the uncertain parameters are inside the uncertainty set. We have tested raw model on six case studies. The first case study is a simple portfolio optimization problem with uncertain returns. The second is a knapsack problem with uncertain item weights. The third is a pooling problem instance. So this is a nonlinear problem with uncertain product demands. The fourth is a capacitated facility location problem with uncertain demands. This is an adjustable problem in which the decision which facilities are built is made before the uncertainty is revealed while the decision which demand is satisfied by which facility is decided 
after the uncertainty has been revealed. The fifth problem is a production planning problem in which prices depend on demand based on an uncertain black box function. And the final problem is a drill scheduling problem in which uncertain rates of degradation depend on other variables through another black box function. The last two problems utilize our Gaussian process based uncertainty sets. For each case study, we solve 30 instances with different uncertainty set sizes. For the first four problems, we do this for both the polyhedral and ellipsoidal uncertainty sets using the reformulation and cutting blade based solvers. For the two black box case studies, we use the two different types of Gaussian process based uncertainty sets implemented in row model with the reformulation solver. The cutting plane solver is currently not applicable to these problems. This table shows the median time taken to solve each problem. The only problem which could not be solved to optimality is the facility location problem with an ellipsoidal set when using the reformulation solver. This problem can be solved using the cutting plane solver instead. Across all case studies, the reformulation solver is significantly faster than the cutting plane solver. The median time for the reformulation solver is 74 milliseconds, while for the cutting plane solver, this is 330 milliseconds. Overall, the polyhedral sets are slightly faster to solve than the ellipsoidal sets, while the standard Gaussian process based sets are significantly easier to solve than the warped Gaussian process based sets. This figure shows the normalized objective value for each case study as a function of uncertainty set size. For the facility location problem and the drill scheduling problem, this objective value increases with increasing uncertainty set size because these problems are cost minimization problems, while for the other problems, the objective value decreases as they are maximization problems. By construction, the polyhedral set for a given uncertainty set size is always contained by the ellipsoidal set with the same uncertainty set size. Because of this, the polyhedral set is always less conservative than the ellipsoidal set. A major benefit of row model is that trying out different uncertainty set geometries as well as trying out different solution approaches becomes very easy. I hope that I've been able to convince you that row model is a useful tool to make modeling and solving robust optimization problems much easier than it often currently is in practice. It is also open source and it is extensible and new library uncertainty sets and reformulations can be added to it. If you are interested in this work, check out our GitHub. There you will be able to find instructions for how to install and use Row Model yourself. You can also take a look at our paper on this project, which is available on Archive, and make sure to follow our group's Twitter account to be up to date with all of the research that we do. With that, I'd like to thank you for your attention and for watching my video.